and welcome to Rejoice Reborns. Um, I am not here with any babies yet because I'm going to be doing the five minute challenge from my We Reborns Cradle from Brenda. So it's a five minute challenge where you have to get everything you would usually use and set up as if you were to record. So as you all know, I record in the kitchen and I'm going to be using my cell phone which I'm using to record with now as a stopwatch because I don't have a timer. Okay so as you all know the best place to record and the place I mostly record is right here in my kitchen on the floor because um, you always see the dog food and water in the background and sometimes my husband will put the cage across there so the critters um, don't come through and bug at me and I like it because it has a patio door so it lets the natural light in. Sometimes I record in the living room and sometimes I record outside but the most spot I record at is here so this is where I'll be doing the challenge for so for the five minute challenges I have to get everything ready as I would be recording a video right here so like I would have to get my stuff I put down the babies, the stuff I would use to change them, diapers, powder, the whole nine yards. So, I don't have a timer timer. So, that is how little my baby Santana Anna used to be. So, right now I am going to use a stopwatch. So, I have to get the baby's outfits they're wearing today. I have to get diapers, they'll wear the same onesies, and I need hats and whatever else they're wearing. I have to get the blankets, I would usually put down here the diapers and the powder and my babies are upstairs. I don't know if I'll be able to do it in five minutes, but it's fun. So I'm just going to set this here on the floor and I'm going to start it and we'll get at her. So let's go.
for me to grab everything, find outfits that I picked out that I want to wear. And I was in a rush in a hurry. It took me 11 minutes and 5 seconds. Sorry, the camera's shaking. I have a really bad headache today, so my hands are a little shaky. I get them when it's very, very humid or when it's going to rain. But anyways... I didn't make it in five minutes, so, and that was rushing. Whew. Wow, okay. That was rushing, and it took me 11 minutes. And when I'm not rushing, I bet you it takes me a good half hour to get ready. And as you can see, Max wanted to lay on the blanket, and then both animals were in the way a little bit. Whew. So I got everything here. So that being said, it took me that long. Hi, Willow. She wants loves. Oh, don't look at the camera. Hi, Max. He's standing over there. So, Joy Santa is going to be wearing this beautiful yellow dress. And since I don't have any yellow shoes for her, I have another sock around here somewhere. I did bring it down. I know I did. Hang on one second. Okay, so the mysterious yellow sock that she was going to be wearing was on the floor. And also, I forgot to grab the little shorts she's going to be wearing underneath the dress. So, we'll just add another minute onto that. So, today she's going to be wearing her beautiful yellow dress with embroidered butterflies and flowers on it. And then she is going to be wearing a beautiful yellow headband bow, flower, sorry. Then because I don't have yellow shoes or any shoes that go with this, I guess I could use the pink ones, but I figured these cute fuzzy socks, yellow socks would look good on her. And then to go with that, she's going to wear this hat because it has flowers on it and there's yellow in it and I'm gonna leave on her onesie and I'm not gonna change her diaper I usually do change their diapers but I just changed it last night that's why I grabbed two to simulate that I do usually change their diapers so she's gonna wear that and we're gonna get her dress first and now I'll show you what Owen is gonna wear oh plus this underneath little what do you want to call them diaper cover uh, bloomers. <laughs> so Owen James is going to wear his plain shirt. It's gray with an airplane on it. That's plaid. Can you see that? Yes. Then he's going to wear his plaid shorts. This hat, because I don't know why, but it go like it really goes with that. At least I think. <laughs> And his orange sneakers with his little socks that are currently holding the camera up. But it's these little socks. And that's what Owen James is going to wear. I have to find something else to hold the camera in the position I wanted it. I might, mm, I don't know, I want to kind of want to put this puppy hat on him because it has orange in it. I think, nah, I'll just leave it with the striped one. Okay, I'm going to use this puppy hat and adjust the camera to where I want it. Let's see, y'all can see. There. I can't believe that took me longer than 11 minutes because I forgot her her shorts. Joy Santa, what's going on? Here, I'm going to have to move this back a bit so you can see her. Look at her hair. Oh, I love when it curls like that. Like when she's been wearing a hat and it curls like that. She's not wearing a hat today though, so I got the brush. But she's going to stay in this onesie and this diaper. Like I said, I just grabbed the other diapers because I wanted to simulate the grabbing of diapers because I usually do grab diapers and I'm usually not in a rush, so I take my time. 
This time I was like, oh my gosh, and I kind of had it planned in my head what outfit they were going to wear, and then I didn't want them to wear that outfit, and then I changed my mind. That's what happens with me, though, yo. Like, I'll pick an outfit for them, and I'll be like, nah, let's let them wear this instead. So, I'm going to leave the onesie on. I'm going to put a little socks on her feet. I love these yellow fluffy socks. They're so cute, but I'm going to roll them down like that. And they're so, um, that's just my husband. I don't know what he's doing, but he's running water somewhere, either upstairs or downstairs. Um, and the pink, the, uh, the pink socks, the yellow socks are so unisex also. Well, I kind of flunked that, didn't I, Joyce Anna? Usually it takes me a while, like longer, to pick out their outfits because I'll be like, ooh, I want them to wear this. And then I'll be like, nah, let them wear this. And that's what I did today as well because I ha actually had a different outfit picked out for Joyce Anna. And I had that outfit picked out for Owen. And then I saw another outfit up there and I was thinking about it. And then I said, nah. So actually, I don't think I'm going to put those little shorts on her because it looks nice just like this. So now I know how long it takes me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Beautifuls. Did I take her out of your... Yeah, I gotta back you up some more. Alright, I'm gonna brush her hair. Hopefully it stays down with me, without me having to wet it. Well, that was a fun challenge, even though I didn't do it in five minutes. Oh, it still was fun. I enjoy those little challenges and little tags and discussions and I'm actually thinking of a tag to start myself. I got a couple in mind, I'm just not sure, but I'd like to start one. So Oh I said she was gonna wear the bow and then I said she was gonna wear the hat and I brought down both. Hmm. Let's see how the bow looks first. Okay. So, if you notice it's a little bit large on her, what I do for that is, I put a little, like I don't want to put a safety pin or anything on it, not a safety pin. A paper clip on it because that would rub up against her head and scratch her paint so what I do and in the future when I get more dolls they might have different head sizes so what I do is I just tie a knot in it like that and then it fits so okay that's the bow look right there and let's try the hat out now and some sorry beautifuls that's the hat look I think I like the bow better so I'm gonna put the bow back in there back in her hair. I have a video, it should be uploaded shortly, like in a couple hours with my discussion on it, so hope you all enjoy that. There we go. So this is Joyce Anna's outfit of the day. Little Miss Beautifuls. Say hi everybody. The hair bow, the dress, and the beautiful little fuzzy socks. And now we're gonna do Owen James. And I'm 
going to have to change them again later into a Mickey and Minnie outfit because in one of the groups I'm on, on Facebook, there is a contest going on and it says take pictures of your babies in Mickey's and Minnie outfits for the, um, and the winner will be the banner of the group, like the cover photo. So that's pretty cute and I like that. And Owen James is looking like a chef. Aren't you, Mr. Mister? Okay, I'm just going to set you back up here. Where? I put pillows underneath because it raises the babies up a bit. And he's doing the Einstein thing as well. I'd love to give him a mohawk. I'm sure I've said this before in videos, but I'd have to cut his hair and that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. No. I'm brushing your hair and I still have to. That's my husband playing with the cats. And I still have to um, put his outfit on, don't we, handsome? Mr. Mister? I can't believe it took me that long to get everything ready. And his socks don't really match his outfit. They were just like the first ones I grabbed because I knew. I was like, oh boy, this has got to be five minutes already. And then I was like, oh no, I don't want him to wear that outfit. I want him to wear that outfit instead. So I like totally grabbed another outfit. I originally wanted him to wear this and then I seen another outfit. And then I was like, yeah, he can wear that. And then I was like, nah, he'll, he'll wear the, the one that I love on him. I love this outfit on him. I love Joyce Anna in yellow too. I think she looks stunningly beautiful. And you are stunningly handsome, Mr. Mister. That was a fun challenge, even though I flunked it. Hey, honey, you know the five minute challenge? Guess how long it took me? 11 minutes. <laughs> it was fun though. I'm so happy with this outfit because it's really hard to find outfits like a short and a shirt set in preemie size because um, in outfits like this, it's usually newborn or zero to three months. And he does fit some zero to three months, but they're like baggy on him. So when I seen this outfit, I was like, ooh. And I, we got it at Once Upon a Child too. So I'm just gonna put his sockies on. Now I have a tip and trick that I must share. Um, Fun and Frolic Nursery mentioned that she cannot keep shoes on Everly's feet because they keep falling off. Now, Joyce Anna has itty bitty feet, so I'm going to show it with her. Owen James's feet are pretty well zero to size one, so he fits. I'll show his stunning outfit in a minute. So he fits the shoes pretty well. Okay, so I'm just going to stick them over there and I'll show this for my sis from Fun and Frolic Nursery. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so there is her itty bitty foot. Now these socks are thicker, so, but as you can see, she has an itty itty bitty foot like Owen James's, oh maybe you can't see, hang on a second. Oops. I dropped you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to drop you guys. I'm trying to get it so you can see her footsie. Maybe if I put it on the ground. Okay, that'll be better if I move her over a little bit. So as you can see with her foot, it doesn't even come up. It comes up just about there on the shoe. So, it would be just about here. Now with Owen James, his foot basically comes up to just about here because he has longer foot, so just about there. So, if you put thicker socks on or two pairs of socks on, the shoes for the babies with the itty bitty feet, because Joyce Anna is 17 inches as well, If you put thicker socks on, I find, see how well the shoes stay on? Thicker socks. Sometimes you have to put two pairs of socks on 
that works as well. Or say, I'm going to steal Owen's sock here because I watched her video and I really wanted to show her this. If you get a zero or a size one shoe um, and the socks are a bit big like that, can you see that? They're a little bit big. And if you just put the shoe on, it'll just slide. Now it's not going to work for me, but it would just slide right off and fall off. But if you bunch up the toe and tuck it, okay, let's see here. I'm going to have to put you all over here for a minute. But if you take the toe, Okay, so that's the bottom of her foot. You take the toe, because the socks are too big as well, and fold it under. That gives it this little nubby. And then take the sides. So I folded it under, and then take the sides and roll them over. That will also hold the foot in the shoe, because it makes it thicker. Or... Put like I said, with the thick socks, they work as well. Or if you put two pairs of these thinner socks on. Or you could even take a little bit of tissue paper, Kleenex, toilet paper, or whatever. Scrunch it up. And what I find works is don't stick it in the toe. Because that pushes their foot out. Put it in the heel. See, with bare feet. I'll show you. With bare feet, and never put bare feet shoes on your baby because you wear off their pants. But for sake of an argument, this won't hurt her just this once. See how easy it is to fall off? Don't stuff the toe because if you stuff the toe, I got some toilet paper here. If you stuff the toe, of the boot and then put it on it pushes the shoe down see it pushes it down and it's just gonna fall off easier but here's my little trick if you neatly take the toilet paper paper towel tissue paper or whatever and fold it like that so it's nicely and stick it in the heel of the shoe of course you don't want it showing so you could even cut it to size but stick it in the heel and then if you need another piece just do it again fold it and build up from the heel So it looks like that, almost looks like a little orthotic. Then when you put the shoe on, it holds it better in place like that. That's not going nowhere. Because you stuff the heel, you're forcing the toe further into the shoe instead of stuffing the toe and forcing the heel out like I showed you before. So that was for my sis from Fun and Frolic Nursery because we love ya and we wanted to help you out with shoes. Now I'm going to stick you all back on here for a second while I redress the babies. And put Owen's shoes on. See I don't have problems with Owen's shoes falling off even though they look big on him he has pretty long feet so for a 17 inch baby because he's also 17 inches so put that up before my dog decides to eat it there is a beautiful beautiful willow dillo my little princess flower you are watch the baby's head move your paws away from joy santa's head so here is Owen James in all of his Mr. Mr. Handsomeness. 
he is wearing this striped hat. The plane, I guess I should say airplane, because it's an airplane, not a plain, plain shirt, as in plain. The plaid shorts and the little runners. Oh, they look so cute. So I hope y'all enjoyed that video of the challenge, and I hope I could help you out, sis, with um, helping shoes stay on Everly's feet. And we will see you all in the next one. Remember, always, always smile. It's the only good thing that's contagious and can cross any language barrier. Journey!